You've probably heard or seen reports of water flushing in different directions in toilet bowls and bathtubs in different hemispheres. Is it true? Well, yes and no, and we'll try to explain why. The most common explanation for this so-called phenomena is the Coriolis effect. It was named after the French scientist Gaspar Gustave de Coriolis, who made the mathematical expression for it in 1835, although it was already recognized earlier in history. Imagine you are watching the Earth from space and you see a cannon resting on the equator. If the Earth stood still, a projectile fired from your cannon towards the North Pole would follow a straight line. Now, if we turn on rotation, the line stays straight. But, if we watch the projectile while we are moving together with the Earth, the line would appear curved counterclockwise since we are moving away from it. And that curving effect is what we call the Coriolis effect. If you fire our cannon towards the south, the curvature would appear again, but this time, the projectile would seem to be moving clockwise. Therefore, the Coriolis force, as it is sometimes called, is not a true force, but an apparent one. Since the speed of the Earth's rotation is relatively low, such effects become noticeable only for motions occurring over large distances and long periods of time such as large-scale movement of air in the atmosphere or water in the ocean. And since the intensity of the effect is proportional to the speed of the rotation, the apparent force is greater near the poles where the effective rotation rate is largest there and decreases to zero at the equator. Now that we know the nature of the effect, let's get back to our primary question about water draining on different hemispheres. In laboratory conditions, with perfectly still water and a perfectly round container, minute forces of the Coriolis effect would be able to always direct a water draining vortex in one direction in the northern hemisphere and always in the opposite direction in the southern hemisphere. But in real life, this apparent force is so small that it is easily overpowered by other forces working in the container that are defined by parameters such as any residual rotation of the water and the geometry of the container. Furthermore, in the example from our video, apparent Coriolis forces operating near the equator are literally completely negligible, and there's no way they would be able to reverse the water draining vortex after moving across the equator. Instead, these guys are using different shapes of those funnels to make a clever tourist attraction. But even though they aren't scientifically correct, these types of demonstrations can help our understanding of physics by engaging us in a thought experiment or making us want to learn more about this so-called differently draining toilets phenomena. Actually, it has already been popularized by several television programs and films, including Escape Plan, Wedding Crashers, The Simpsons, Pole to Pole, and The X-Files. On the other hand, several science broadcasts and publications, including at least one college-level textbook, have wrongly attributed different draining to the Coriolis effect. 